Hi, this is Lorena, and I just totally wanted to try something different. Um, these are old Bibles that I found in my closet, and I just decided to see if I could fix them. And this is what they look like. I also recommend if you want to learn how to do bookbinding. I'm not a bookbinder. Um, I was looking at a tutorial by C. Lemony. C. Lemon, I believe. She's awesome, and I would like you guys to check her out if you want to see more tutorials on bookbinding. And so here I went and I got colorful paper. I bought this at Michael's. They're $19, but you could get 40% off. And I got a double-sided cardstock. I also got, since I did two books, I got upholstery fabric that I had laying around in my house. You're gonna need a doll. You could also use scissors, a rotary cutter, a ruler. You're also gonna need tacky glue. I found that this works the best for what I did. Um, and you're going to pick, I recommend you pick like six colors of pa uh, paper. You're going to fold them in half. And I also recommend you get, cut yourself out four pieces of cardstock paper. And you're also going to need a hard backer board if you want the cover to be harder. Or you can also use um, anything maybe like from a box and cut it out so that you can use it for your top cover. I just use backer board. Now here I'm taking the book apart. I am using the top cover for the backer board um, to measure as like a pattern for myself. And I'm using the book itself, the Bible itself, to cut and measure the size and height of my paper. And, um, and so here you see me measuring and I cut all eight or I think six, seven, eight pieces at one time. And here you see me folding. I rearranged my papers and then I folded them in half. Make sure your cardstock is on top. And so here you see me make like one book and I made two books. Each of these little books is gonna fit on one side of each Bible. And so here I'm bringing them all together and I'm going to measure a half inch and I'm going to puncture holes. And so here you see me measuring. And in a minute, I'm going to get that dowel. And I'm going to start puncturing holes into that paper. And you can literally puncture the holes all the way through all eight pieces to save you some time. And so you, you see me here puncturing a hole. And you can make it a fourth um, distance. You're just going to sew more. Um, or you can make it a half. It, both of them worked well for me. I just noticed to save some time uh, measuring a half inch apart was the best. Make sure that the punctures go all the way through all the papers. And here you saw me measuring the Bible to my little books. And here you see me trimming off the excess material. And I gave myself an eighth of an inch um, height. And so I got a needle and thread and I knotted uh the pieces together and here you see me grabbing that board or wood or not wood that um, paper that connected the Bible together and feeding it through and I went off like a fourth and I fed it through and then here you see me catching that wood again and I'm gonna feed it through the next hole and I'm gonna keep doing that until I get to the end as I'm on the end here and what I did in the end is I just fed it through and I tied a knot and here you see all of it sewn together and I'm going to grab a piece of that leftover wood and tie a knot and then I'm going to cut off the thread and I'm going to do the next side of the book and so here I'm going to hopefully you see all that sewn and I'm going to do the next side and I'm going to do the same thing now um, see lemon she does a lot of book binding and she'll do more in detail. And since I'm not a book binder, I just kind of winged it, honestly. And so here I cut myself four pieces of cardstock. The reason you need four is um, you're going to need one to wrap around your book. So you almost kind of reinforcing all, you know, the two little books that you put there. And you're also going to start getting some ribbon if you want to, to put ribbon on the book. And the other pieces are going to be for that backer board or for the hard cover of your book. And so here you see me folding. I didn't measure. You should measure. Um, remember, these are old books and they're going to be well worn. And here you see me gluing any torn pages in that book or a Bible 
to make sure they're, you know, they glue well and they stick again. You don't want to lose those pages, but this is the way I fixed it. And so here I'm gluing all around and I poured glue all over. Then when I was doing this, I forgot that I wanted to add ribbon. So I went and I got my ribbon and I got myself three or four pieces. I think I got gray, red, and black. And what I did is I just cut it however long you wanted it. And I pulled that back a little bit, not tearing any of that sewn um, area that I just sewed. And I pulled it and I pulled that old ribbon out. And I just shoved tons of glue in there. <clears throat> And, and I shoved the glue in there and then I shoved the ribbon inside the space and in a minute you'll see it. I don't know if, um, and so here I'm gathering the ribbon together and then I'm going to uh, get some glue and I'm just going to stuff it in there and I'm not going to, I'm going to make sure I don't get any glue on the pages and now I'm gluing all that back board and I already have glue on my other paper and I'm gluing it all together in this way. This is a good way of getting all that um, book that was kind of bowing out a little bit and this I was pushing it through and making sure that it sat solid and had all that glue and all that um, papers kind of glued together. And now I'm, use, I'm measuring the backer board. I'm measuring one side of the board and then I lifted the book and I measured the inside, um, the center, and I'm going to go ahead and mark it. And I made sure that this board was a fourth bigger all the way around, so I would add a half inch. And I'm here measuring if the board is too big and making sure. And so you can see that I measured it. And I'm going to cut that excess now off. And I'm measuring the center. In a minute, I'm going to get something to score it. And here I am scoring it all the way one time through. And then I'm folding that backer board up. And as you see me folding it, make sure you don't score all the way through because you still want that structure that will support the book because um, that's what's going to hold the book together. And so here I'm making sure that everything fits. Now this is where you can uh, cut your edges and this is what you need that extra cardstock for. I'm measuring the one side of the page. And remember, we already cut these. I cut these, I believe they're four inches wide to the length of the book itself. And I'm folding it in half because this is what's going to help me um, kind of put um, the book to this board. And so I'm folding it here, making sure. I think I had four of them, but you only need two. And then I measured um, the inside seams. Um, because I'm going to also put a fabric around and I'm going to um, get, I keep saying, um, I'm sorry, I'm going to roll it over. And so here I have everything and here's my leather. I use suede, which I think was a mistake. And I use suede because I thought suede is really pretty. But if you get any glue on the suede, which is a lesson that I had to learn, um, it literally stains the suede. And so here I'm pouring all this glue all over and I got a brush so that I would make sure that the glue was everywhere. And you also don't want um, those lines of glue because then it'll pierce out on the fabric. And so just using your brush to rub it all the way around. And then here I had my um, embroidered... Um, suede and I'm just rubbing everything on and I'm making sure that I have an inch all the way around that backer board and here I'm rubbing it down making sure that everything sits flat and I'm rubbing it into that backer board and making sure that it sits well and then I'm gonna flip it and I'm gonna just rub it on the other side and then I'm gonna measure all the way around and make sure that I have enough material and here I'm checking to see if I have the have it centered if it's sitting well if the horse is in a good position and just making sure that everything's straight and also folding it the way the book would naturally be so here I am measuring all the way around the Bible or top cover of whatever book you're using and I measured an inch and here on the corners if you're using fabric give yourself a fourth space so that when you're rolling your fabric over your corner gets covered now if you're doing leather I recommend you don't do that because I didn't 
it didn't work for me and so what I had to do here is I mitered the corner I just literally cut a corner piece and you can see it right there as I rolled everything over this is going to take you some time to roll that fabric or leather over like I did and now I have remember earlier we cut um, some pieces of cardstock and we cut them four inches wide as long as the length of your book mine was the length of my Bible and then we're glue we're folding it in half and we're gluing that to the very edge of your score line and I'm gonna turn it around you can see it right there and I'm gluing another piece um, so that this is where your book is going to be glued to the top cover or this is how I figured it out and so and this is what worked for me and so here I am gluing and I'm folding making sure it's folded and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put glue all the way on the center and on those um, flaps that I just made and I poured a lot of glue and I'm brushing it on and in a minute I'm gonna get that cover and I'm going to put that in the center and so here you see me make sure my ribbon is out of the way all this stuff out of the way and I'm gonna literally center it and then I'm gonna rub that piece that has the glue and I'm gonna rub it to the book and this is what makes your book gluing these pieces to the book this is what gives you that stabilizer and holds the book to the hardcover and in a minute we're gonna get another piece of cardstock we need two of them for the top of the book inside and for the back of the book inside and what I recommend is you measure the top lid and give yourself a inch smaller all the way around and in a minute you're gonna see me gluing that piece of cardstock and I'm rubbing the glue all the way around and here I'm pressing it and the reason you want to four smaller because you want to have that beautiful top edge all the way around that fourth all the way around and, and here you're just uh, gluing everything together and then you glue the back side of the inside cardstock like I did here and then you're done with your cover and this is what it looks like I found that glue does tear the cardstock the color and so what I was going to do is just get a, a black marker or add another piece um, and this is what the back looks like back inside and this is what the Bible looks like and in a minute I'm going to show you um, some pictures what it looks like when it's done in fabric and this is what you could do to fix old books if you wanted to I hope you like this tutorial and I hope you like uh, this video. Have a wonderful day.